What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. Today we're gonna talk about some upcoming basketball sneakers that you might wanna grab the hoop in. If you see something you like, hit the like button, share the video without further ado. Let's get into these sneakers, you dig? First up, we're gonna talk about an OD that's coming back for 2023, the Reebok Blast. Not to be confused with the Reebok Kamikaze, which I feel like this looks just like it. Retailing for 150 bucks, dropping on March 3rd. This was definitely one of the popular basketball shoes in the 90s with that asymmetrical design on both sides of the shoe that was definitely fire over 25 years ago these things dropped and it still remains to be one of the most compelling and historic sneakers on a basketball court let me know if this is something you guys will be grabbing this year to hoop in making his way back for adidas is another classic sneaker the eqt top 10 2010 which is dropping sometime during this season for a retail price of about 140 bucks it's definitely part of the feet you wear line which also features a kobe crazy 97 among others it does have a mesh base with leather overlays and ribbons on the side the classic feet you wear logo is displayed on the heels then you have the zigzag signature cushion which is something i do like on the midsole let me know if this is something that you guys will be adding to your collection from the old school shoes to more of a futuristic sneaker let's go ahead and talk about two colorways of the cosmic unity 3. the first one is as one we win dropping later this year for a retail price of 160 bucks black brilliant orange sale pink spell tropical twist and football gray is the color scheme as one we win will be embroidered on the lateral side of the shoe of course the cosmic unity 3 is constructed with a mix of materials detailed with embroidery weaves throughout the sneaker the crater sole unit remains with the full length zoom strobe which a lot of people do like gives you more of an outdoorsy feel great for indoors and outdoors we also have another colorway the next colorway of the cosmic unity 3 is called the fan Phantom dropping also later this year, but will be retailing for 170 bucks. Phantom, medium soft pink, bright cactus, and light bone is the color scheme. This one as well has a mix of materials, detail with the embroidery throughout. Same as the previous colorway. Let me know of the two Cosmic Unity 3s. Which one do you guys like more? And do you like the Unity 3 or Unity 2 more? Comment down below. Next up, we have a new colorway of the Puma MBO 2. This is the Flare colorway. Dropping February 24th for a retail price of 130 bucks. But you might be able to catch it in stores a little sooner. Black Sunset Glow is the color scheme. This MBO 2 features the black engineered mesh with the highlighted Sunset Glow color contracting accents of course you have the tpu heel and you have the rubber outsole i like this sneaker the colorway is pretty dope where does it add up with all the other colorways of the mbo2 from lonzo ball to penny hardaway we have the nike air max penny one pure platinum i'm really liking the energy that the air max penny one has been getting lately this one will retail for 170 bucks white pure platinum and summit white makes up the color scheme it does have a mix of leather and mesh materials featuring the white and platinum upper with the semi translucent outsole with a large swoosh on the side as all the pennies do and of course that one cent logo on the back let me know what you guys think about this one from a one to ten scale in the comments below next we have a classic penny the air max penny 2 dropping in photon dust colorway for a retail price of 200 bucks white photon dust black cell along with that metallic silver makes up the shoe white photon dust upper paired with the black metallic detailing i like this colorway a lot might be a little harder to keep clean but it will look fire on the court of course you got the one cent logo on the back featuring the semi translucent outsole one to ten scale what do you guys rate this penny to and do you guys like the hoop in these or wear them for casual wear another classic nike is bringing back is the nike kd3 on uh, pearl dropping during the holiday season for a retail price of 130 dollars medium soft pink white and lotus pink it's a color scheme no official images only mock-up so far but it's said to have different shades of pink covering the upper with special details nodding to aunt pearl and the proceeds from the sale of the shoe will go to the kyle cancer fund which i think is a really dope situation do you see yourself adding this to your collection next up we got the nike air more of tempo electric dropping for a retail price of 170 bucks of course no official release date just yet black bright crimson racer blue is a color scheme this of course features the mesh and leather base highlighted with the crimson and blue 
accents. I like that a lot on this shoe. The electric detailing on the tongues and insoles. Then you have the black rubber outsole. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway. I definitely feel like it's something you need to see in person. What would that leather quality be like? And up tempos are basketball shoes, but people wear them more for casual wear. So let me know if you guys will be grabbing them to hoop in. Next up, we have the Adidas Crazy Infinity, which is making its way back in 2023. Formerly known as the Adidas Kobe line, the Infinity is the last model to join the Adidas Crazy lineup. The shoe features a new zip-up shroud similar to the Kobe 3, which was also a shoe that Kobe never ended up wearing because he left to go hoop for Nike in 2002. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe. Definitely reminds me of the Adidas Kobe 1. I'm liking it. I don't know if I will cop it for myself, but if this is something you guys look forward to hooping in, of course, let us know in the comment section below. Next up is a silhouette by Adidas that I'm excited to see, the Adidas Don Issue 5. This one right here is definitely a head turner and by far his best model of the Don Issue so far. If you like one of them more, let me know which one you like in the comments below. It arrives in the blue colorway constructed with the mesh upper, perforated overlays. You have the suede and new book on the toe cap as well. Mitchell signature spider logo appears on the tongues along the Don issue. The termination over negativity branding on the medial side. The signature light strike cushioning completes the shoe. I'm definitely looking forward to this Adidas Don issue four because like I said earlier, all the previous models just didn't add up to what it's supposed to be. But this is definitely one I think I want to add to my collection. Will you guys be grabbing a pair? Next up is another Adidas hoop and shoe, the Adidas Harden Volume 7 Silver Metallic, dropping March 2nd for a retail price of 160 bucks. I'm a big fan of this colorway and the silhouette itself. Silver Metallic Core Black Gray is the color scheme. It comes constructed with the mesh build, quilted stitching, and glossy leather toe boxes. Silver and black cover the majority of the upper. You have the signature three stripes on the heel, the boost cushioning as well on the medial side. I like the semi-translucent also for this sneaker too. Give me your thoughts on the Harden 7. Every colorway I've seen on feet definitely looks better than the previous models of 5 and 6. Let me know if you guys agree with that. This next colorway is called Core Black, also retailing for $160. And let me tell you once again, this complete new design for this Harden 7 is definitely a step up and might have saved his signature line. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to grabbing these. This colorway is called Cloud White. As you can see, majority of the shoe is Cloud White, but you also have the Core Black on the inner booty, laces, heel pull tabs. You have the white three stripes on the heels. You have some boost also on the heel and you have that semi-translucent outsole, which I think is a dope shoe. But I have to say this red scarlet colorway for the Harden Volume 7 is definitely my favorite of the three we talked about so far. Also retailing for 160 bucks. Scarlet red covers majority of the shoe, but like the other models, you have the core black that covers their inner booty, laces, heel pull tabs. I think that's a pretty dope touch to the shoe. That scarlet red is just gonna hit different on the court and it also has a red semi-translucent outsole from a one to ten i give this one a 10 and of all the three colorways this is by far my favorite let me know which one you guys like the most next up we got a sneaker that has a little buzz with it when it comes to anime the jordan zion 2 naturo versus Sasuki dropping february 20th for a retail price of 130 bucks let me know if this is something that you will be adding to your collection are you an anime fan black laser blue yellow strike dark purple dust and metallic silver is a color scheme this shoe right here has all kind of references paying homage to Naturo and Sasuke in different ways from the insoles to the graphics on the shoe and of course you got Zion's logo on there too I'm a fan of this colorway I know there is some hype apart about this shoe and I'm pretty sure there will be a little resale value to it so if you're somebody trying to grab it you might have to put in a little extra work for that but overall give me your thoughts about this rate this from a 1 to 10 in the comment section below next up let's talk about a few colorways from John Morant and Nike the first one is the midnight colorway retailing for 400 bucks anthracite metallic silver and cobalt bliss makes up the color scheme it comes constructed with the leather mesh build with jaw branding placements all over the shoe you got the Savorsky stones that are covering up the nike swoosh which i think is a dope touch and that's pretty much why this one is retailing for 400 dollars one part that I like about the shoe is the translucent blue outsole. That is one thing that is fire about it. It does have John Morant's signature handwriting in the insole that says it's 12 a.m. somewhere. The Zaforsky crystals, the 12 a.m. lace duralates, as well as the Jaw signature branding is definitely one of a kind. What do you guys think about this colorway from a 1 to 10? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Next up, we got the John Morant Scratch that's retailing for only 110 bucks. And I feel like this might be the best colorway we've seen so far. 
Rapid Teal, Black, White, University Red, and Monarch is the color scheme. It pretty much has the turquoise blue upper detailing the Grizzlies claw marks. I think that is fire. The midsole and swooshes have the scratches as well. Signature branding throughout the shoe and the jaw logo on the tongues. 12 on the heels to complete the design. 1 to 10, this right here is definitely a 10 and it's spot on with the Vancouver Grizzlies jerseys back in the day. Reminds me of Mike Miller or excuse me, Mike Bibby. But this one is a 10 out of 10 and one that I definitely feel like I have to add to my collection. I got another colorway that I'm going to talk about a little later in this video so stay tuned. Next up, we have some leaked images of a new LeBron 20 Speak Your Truth which is a collab with Uninterrupted which is his company. Also retailing for about 200 bucks with no official release date just yet. Black Coconut Milk Hyper Royal and Topaz Gold is a color scheme. This right here features the black base with white tongues and laces. You got blue detailing along the inner booting and heels. I like the aged midsole look for this LeBron 20. Definitely one of the best colorways so far. You got the double stack swooshes, of course, with Speak Your Truth printed on the heel tabs. One to 10 scale, let me know what you guys think about this LeBron 20. We got another colorway I wanna talk about, but I'll mention that later on in the video, so stay tuned. Next, we got a couple colorways of the Air Jordan 37 Low. This one is the Nut and Bonnet, retailing for 175 bucks, which is paying homage to Michael Jordan's outfit that he wore during the original McDonald's commercial in 92. I think that's a pretty dope touch and that they're paying homage to that. Black, white, university red, bright concord, solar and laser orange is the color scheme. As you can see, it has the black leather base detailing nothing but net print on the tongues you have the white rubber sole and you have a few colors on the outsole as well i like that color combination this next colorway of the 37 low is called fraternity retailing for 175 bucks as well dropping on march 2nd and i do like this color scheme military blue white Midnight Navy, True Red, and Sky Gray. It also comes with a mix of materials detailed with Greek letters on the left tongue's badge. I like the semi-translucent heel counter, and you have the rubber outsole to complete the shoe. Of the two that we've seen so far, I think I do like this one the most. Let me know what you guys think about the Jordan 37 and 37 Low. You guys see yourself hooping in them. Next up, I want to talk about another colorway of this Air Jordan 37 Low Bread. This one will retail for 185 bucks and is dropping on March 30th. Black, metallic gold, university red, and dark gray is the color scheme. This 37 is a little different. It has the mix of translucent lino weave on the quarter panels, along with the neoprene and suede materials. You have the carbon fiber plate on the midfoot, along with that soft formula 23 foam. I like that a lot. Of all the three colorways we talked about so far, I think this might be my favorite colorway, the bread one, because of the mix of materials they use, which is different from the previous models. But yes, it is $10 more at 185. The final colorway of the 37 is the women's Team Red dropping March 8th for 175 as well. Team Red, Sail, University Red, and Muslim as a color scheme. This right here comes constructed with the mesh panels and an embroidered pattern on the overlays, a carbon fiber plate, of course, and the soft 23 formula foam, which is something that a lot of people like when it comes to the 37 lows. Of all four colorways, is this the best one? Yes or no? Next up, let's talk about Jason Tatum's debut sneaker, which is actually coming out in four colorways out the gate. The Zoo colorway is the first one, which is inspired by Jason Tatum's favorite place to take his son Deuce. This one has different animal patterns all over the upper. The second one is called St. Louis, which features the retro colors of Tatum's hometown baseball team. The next one is called Pink Lemonade, which is represented by Tatum's favorite drink. Then you have the Barbershop, which is available in adult sizing, which kind of represents Jason Tatum's confidence when he gets a haircut. I like that. I like the spin on that. Of course, the first colorway, the Zoo colorway, is dropping April 7th. The second St. Louis is dropping April 18th, all for a retail of 120 bucks. The Pink Lemonade is dropping later in June on the 20th for a retail price of $120. Then you also have the Pink Lemonade dropping in June for $120. And finally, you have the Barbershop dropping also around that time for a retail price of $120. Of the four colorways you've seen, which one do you guys like the most? Of course, comment in the below. The shoe features a lightweight reinforced TPU frame that so it doesn't have to have so much materials on it. That's what makes it light. It also has an uncaged air unit and a forefoot to help provide the energy return. I'm liking the way the shoe looks. Let me know what you guys think overall. Next up, we have the Billie Eilish Nike Air Alpha Force 88 dropping later this year for a retail price of 130 bucks. Coming in the white, fire red, black, and neutral gray colorway. 
you can't go wrong with that of course they have the full leather build upper with the rib collar signature midfoot strap you have aaf 88 branding on the tongues you cannot go wrong with this sneaker overall from a 1 to 10 scale what do you guys rate this one next up is the nike kobe 4 pro show gg dropping may 1st for a retail price of 180 bucks i'm curious to see how available these shoes will be white black metallic gold and bright emerald is the color scheme this offering of the kobe 4 pro Tro features the white leather base with black detailing and you have plaid along the heel counters you got gg embroidery with her jersey number on the heels you got kobe logo and gold on the tongue i'm not mad at this shoe at all i just know a lot of people will be trying to get it and i'm hoping a lot of pairs are made let me know if you guys will be trying to cop them in the comments below next up we got some more here from adidas they're bringing back another one of those crazies the adidas crazy one laker aka kobe dropping february 18th for a retail price of 150 bucks it comes in the footwear white bold gold and court purple color scheme i definitely seen this in person and it looks good is this something that you guys will be grabbing a hoop in this kobe is definitely not a bad shoe for basketball it is a basketball sneaker this crazy one features the signature molded upper with the grip halfway shell on the toe spoiler on the heel a mesh inner booty injected with a eva midsole and the torsion system which completes the design for the shoe overall give me your thoughts about this kobe in the comments below as i stated earlier i had one more job to talk about and here it goes dropping later this year for a retail price of 110 bucks i love this color scheme it's definitely fire and a head turner game royal black university red photo blue bright crimson and vivid orange is the color scheme this offering of the jaw one comes with a mismatched design using the game royal and university red on each pair it features a mesh build with the reinforced midfoot and wraparound swooshes the signature jaw branding of course with the number 12 on the heels you cannot go wrong with that you got the speckled midsole with the mitch match on it i'm liking the way this color combination looks of all the jaw ones that have been coming out so far which one are you looking more forward to and also we have another colorway of the lebron 20 which is definitely a head turner the lebron 20 laser orange dropping june 8th for a retail price of 200 bucks laser orange racer blue hyper pink with the white added in there is definitely a dope touch let me know if you got a fill in this colorway laser orange knitted upper double stack leather swooshes i can't wait to see what this thing looks like in hand we haven't seen lebron wear it yet i've only seen images online but this is definitely one of the standout colorways of the lebron 20s do you guys see yourself rocking this colorway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below Got dropping April 7th for a retail price of $240, the Nike Air Foam Posit One Penny PE. New release date, like I said. This colorway is definitely one of the more unique ones. White foam posit shell with the black leather upper, inner booty, tongue, and carbon fiber shank plate and heel as well. This does come in the white metallic silver with the black as well as cobalt bliss with a hint of racer blue. I like this color scheme, paying homage to the Orlando Magic home uniforms. Let me know if this is definitely a penny hardaway that you guys will be adding to your collection or our phones played out for you. Next up, dropping March 31st for a retail price of $250 is the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Dream World. I do like foam posits, but going up to $250 I think is a little crazy in my personal opinion. But this colorway is dope. As you can see, it has the black foam shell detail with white scuff marks. Then you have the plush suede eye stays and collars, the mesh inner booty and patent leather pull tabs. You have a uh, luck success happens when preparation meets opportunity along with insert your dreams and dream a world that are all printed on the insoles and tissue paper you have a special box i'm not sure if you get extra laces let me know if this is something that you guys will be picking up 250 is a little bit much but it is a dope shoe give me your thoughts and opinions of this in the comments below next up a nike's bringing back another classic dropping later this year for a retail price of 180 dollars the nike air zoom generation debut of course, a reference to LeBron's first game as he played in the NBA against the Sacramento Kings October 29, 2003 as the Cavs overall pick. He came out with 25 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds, 4 steals, and 42 minutes even though they lost 106-92. Definitely a dope shoe and classic in its own right. White, black, varsity, red, and metallic silver is the color scheme. This offering of the Nike Zoom generation returns which is OG foam featuring. Let me know what you guys think about this overall it features a white leather base with black mesh paneling along with the varsity red contrasting accents nike zoom cushion sole completes the shoe let me know if you guys will be picking up this classic lebron next up we have a new nike kd15 dropping for a retail price of 150 
dollars which is the standard price for this kd15 i am a fan of this colorway as you guys can see it has the light gray white base with the black detailing and the teal contrasting accents of course they all come with the multi-layer mesh upper for enhanced ventilation then of course you have that floating tpu wings and a molded heel for achilles support which i'm a big fan of the full length air strobel technology is something that a lot of people are a fan of when it comes to the kds let me know what you guys think about this colorway in the comment section below is this a cop or a pass next up we have dropping for retail of 170 bucks the women's exclusive nike air more tempo electric now there was a men's pair that came in a dominant black colorway this one for the ladies will have the all white leather upper with perforations and black mesh tongues then you have highlighting the shoe are the volt green and hyper pink outlines on the shoes air block lettering with the electric graphics used on the tongue and insole branding i'm liking this shoe for the ladies not sure how many people actually will rock them but let me know how you feel about these in the comment section below pretty unique Next up, dropping for a retail price of 170 bucks on March 25th, the Reebok Hurakazi 2 in the UCLA colorway. Of course, paying homage to the UCLA Bruins. White, blue, and gold is the color scheme. This right here has the white leather upper with the blue and gold contrasting accents with suede overlays on the sole unit. I think these are pretty nice. The signature branding placement, of course, two-tone laces and the pull tabs with the solid rubber outsole. Let me know if you guys like this classic colorway and this classic sneaker in the comment section below next up dropping later this march for a retail price of 160 bucks we have the reebok question mid bethel high this colorway is pretty unique it comes with the white tumbled and smooth leather upper with mesh tongues highlighted with green and yellow contrasting accents paying homage to the color of the high school other notable details include the bstn lettering along the lace loops mismatched heel tabs with the fabrics nodding to each sport iverson played his high school and football numbers are also on the back heels with the translucent also which i'm a big fan of let me know if this is a question mid that you can see yourself adding to your collection definitely a fire colorway as of late we definitely have had a lot of releases of the reebok question mid and lows let me know some of your favorite colorways that have recently dropped as we have more to talk about in this video this next one's dropping for a retail price of 140 bucks the reebok question low rec center this reebok question low channels the nostalgia with lively colors on the outsole synonymous with the rex atmosphere it features a gray leather base with mesh tongues and black suede toe cap a white midsole and hexalite cushioning completes the shoe let me know what you guys think about this colorway as we have more to talk about as I said, there's even more questions to be dropped. This one here is retailing for 170 bucks. We have the Reebok Question Mid Orange Toe, which of course, as you can see, comes in white and the orange colorway with the all white leather upper with the new buck and toe box contrasting accents of orange. I like this color scheme on here. Very hard shoe to keep clean, but let me know what you guys think about this colorway and this is something that you will be adding to your collection. And as I said before, let me know some of your favorite Reebok questions that have dropped this year or last year in the comments below. And the last Reebok question mid that I wanna talk about is coming in the Michigan State colorway, dropping March 25th, coming in the flower white, pine green and flower white which is a very unique color scheme that they're using 160 on the retail of course paying homage to michigan state let me know what you guys think about this i love the uh, green suede on the toe box as well as back heel caps then you have that translucent blue outsole with the white leather base you definitely can't go wrong with this one at all rate this one from a one to ten and do you guys see yourself adding this one to your collection of course let me know in the comment section below it's great to see iverson sneaker get so much attention even though this is a basketball sneaker it's definitely worn a lot more for casual wear so let me know people watching this is this something that you will add to your collection for hooping or just wearing them casually next up we have a very vibrant curry 2 dropping march 14th for a retail price of 150 bucks the under armor curry 2 splash party is back with a reimagined pair looking pretty much similar to the 2016 pair that dropped before this shoe has a white base with a very colorful also with details on the shoe to give you a vibe of what you would see at a kid's birthday party with the cake the confetti the candles and the sprinkles that's why the outsole is so live as well as the sock liner let me know what you guys think about this under armor curry 2 
is this something that you guys will add to your collection or is it an easy pass next up i have updated images of the new nike cosmic unity 3 in the pale vanilla colorway this right here will retail for 160 bucks coming in the pale vanilla sea coral topaz gold sand drift barley gray and minka green which is very unique this cosmic unity 3 comes constructed in a mix of materials detail with embroidery weaves throughout nike pinwheel logo on the lateral heel tabs then you have the crater sole equipped with the full length zoom strobel i'm a fan of this sneaker i want to see what it looks like in hand let me know if you guys are a fan of the cosmic unity 3 in the comments below next up we have a new colorway of the jordan why not 6 bright concord dropping later in march for a retail price of 140 bucks I mean, so far, so good. I like the colorways I've been seeing. This right here, of course, has the mix of the bright Concord, pink prime, black, vivid sulfur, aquatone, and coconut milk, which is a pretty dope color combination if you ask me. The Jordan Why Not 6 comes constructed with a semi-translucent grid layer, leather and suede materials, along with the zipper shroud detailing with repeat Why Not text. I like this, man. The exposed stitching on the medial side. You have the rubber outsole to complete the shoe. This colorway and the ones I've been seeing so far has definitely been a hit for the Jordan Why Not 6. Let me know if this is something you can see yourself grabbing the hoop in or is this shoe an easy pass? But to me, it's dope and it reminds me a lot of the Gary Payton shoe with the zippers on. Next, I want to talk about this New Balance basketball sneaker that I've been seeing that looks pretty dope and it only retails for 120 bucks. The New Balance two-way V3 Blue Haze is a pretty dope looking shoe. Dropping later this March, this one comes in black, blue haze, and twilight. It also features the molded textile upper for secure lockdown fit, along with the midfoot TPU clip that adds lateral stability. You also have the full cell midsole equipped with the absorbed cushioning, which I've heard a lot of good things about. Then it has a really good traction on the outsole. Let me know if you got a fan of these. They only retail for 120, and they look good for hooping or casual wear, in my opinion. Next up, we have a new colorway of the Nike Air Zoom Generation. This is the dark gray color scheme, dropping for a retail price of 190 bucks within the next few months. Dark gray, wolf gray, and anthracite it's a color scheme this offering of the nike air zoom generation features the gray scale color upper constructed with a mix of new buck suede and mesh materials you have the anthracite hints on the toe trim heel and eye stays along with the tongue then you have the semi-translucent outsole which i'm a fan of out of this colorway or the original one it's kind of a toss-up for me which nike zoom generation colorway are you liking the most and do you see yourself adding this one to your collection let me know your thoughts in the comments below Next up, we have another classic penny, which is made in a partnership with Ace. The legacy of the Air Max One celebrates Penny Hardaway's impact on basketball and hoop culture over the past three decades. And I'm excited to see because there's a lot of dope colorways for the Penny One. Following Penny's 14 year pro career with the Orlando Magic, Phoenix Suns, New York Knicks, Miami Heat, Hardaway became a coach of the Memphis Tigers, which is his alma mater. He has a very positive record of 84 and 43. The program has four consecutive 21 seasons since he's been there, which is really dope. So it's good to see Nike paying homage to the Air Max Penny One. As you can see all the details on the shoe. You guys can see this penny here features the long hair suede as well as leather upper with the white as well as a sail outsole. You have design on the back heel cup as well as on the tongue area. This this shoe is much different from the Pratt's Penny Ones. It reminds me a lot of the Bone colorway that recently came out, but of course more details to it. Let me know if this is a copper pass for you. And this is also another sneaker that is originally a basketball shoe, but you see a lot more people rocking it for casual wear. So if you're hooping in these, let me know. If you're wearing it for casual wear, sound off in the comments below. Next up, dropping later in March for a retail price of 120 bucks, we have the Jordan Luca One Next Nature in the Wolf Gray color. This right here comes in a very unique colorway with Wolf Gray, Lapis black, you have ghost as well as cool gray. This right here comes with the low cut design feature in the new ISO plate system with the full length Formula 23 foam as we talked about with these Lucas. I do like this color base coming in gray constructed with a mix of leather and mesh highlighting the Concord and orange contrasting accents. I like the pinwheel design on the logo. It does have the semi translucent outsole as well as a speckled midsole. I'm a big fan of this colorway and the Luca ones have definitely been on point if you own any in your collection let us know which colorway you own in the comments below next up we have a new colorway of the nike zoom lebron nxxt gen or next gen in the wolf gray colorway for a retail price of 160 bucks now i do like this color scheme it is pretty unique 
wolf gray pink spell and hyper royal is that color scheme this right here features a wolf gray base with blue suede overlays on the medial heel detailing the iridescent swoosh on each side i think that's a really nice touch you got the lbj branding on the tongues you have the double x on the heel pull tabs you have nxxt text on the insoles with lebron's crown logo on the medial i think this shoe was dope with the semi pink translucent outsole you can't go wrong with it a lot of the colorways they came with so far are definitely on point from a 1 to 10 i have to give this shoe overall a solid 9 i'm definitely looking forward to trying it let me know what you guys think about this colorway and let's get into this next colorway that we have of it also this colorway of the nike zoom lebron next gen is a lot more cleaner dropping later in march for a retail price as well as 160 bucks coming in the white metallic silver and black color scheme all of the specs are the same as you've seen for all the lebron next gen i do like this colorway majority white with the black detailing and metallic silver all over the shoe you definitely can't go wrong with this color scheme very clean look looking forward to seeing what it looks like on the courts let me know if this is something you guys will be hooping in and adding to your collection next up we got some unique sneakers from adidas basketball dropping for a retail price of 140 bucks we have the adidas trey young 2 the first one is a dash gray colorway dash gray halo silver and matte silver is the color scheme these trey young twos all come with that knitted and semi laceless upper with textile lining and hints of green accents used on this shoe for branding areas and lace tips i think the boost heel makes it very comfortable along with the light strike you can definitely hoop really good on these on indoor courts that's what they're really recommended for then we also have another colorway that's based off of flowers let me know what you guys think about this as you can see it comes in the black white and sail with a little bit of rainbow on the outsole the trey young 2 is a very unique shoe i like the details on this colorway i think that's what's gonna make this stand out the most i'm hearing a lot of good rapport but like i said before the trey young 2 is definitely a shoe you would want to hoop in indoors give me your thoughts and opinions and feedback on the trey young 2s in the comments below next up is a sneaker i have so many thoughts and opinions about but right now we're gonna keep it about the shoe dropping later in the summer for a retail price of 125 bucks we got the nike sabrina one photon dust nike basketball has officially unveiled the new signature basketball sneaker the nike sabrina one the designed for players who are looking to accelerate and cut quickly on both ends of the court. This shoe right here gives me so much Kyrie vibes. I feel like this would have been his next sneaker had he still been with Nike. However, Sabrina's Romanian heritage is all over this sneaker on the forefoot and eye stays, paying homage to the traditional art and architecture. I think these are definitely fire. The colorways they come with are definitely going to be on point. The traction looks crazy. You have the air zoom unit on the forefoot. You also have nike react cushioning combined with that there is a bold message of anyone anywhere that is embedded in the midsole as reference to her unmatched competitive spirit i think these are really nice if she comes with it correctly they're gonna be fire people will be picking these up for sure like i said this give me Kyrie vibes all day like the Kyrie low six perhaps but give me your thoughts and opinions on that in the comments below next up we have some images of the nike ja one eybl alternate now this is pretty crazy of course the eybl is a sneaker that you only get if you're hooping in that league so this won't be out to the public but i had to talk about this colorway because it is ridiculous from a one to ten i have to give it a nine and a half ten with the mismatch color blocking on the shoes let me know if this is something that you would try to get your hands on and how do these match up compared to all the other colorways of the jaw one that we've seen so far as you can see there's a lot to look forward to as far as basketball sneakers in the next coming weeks from adidas to puma to reebok to Under Armour, just name it. Let me know what you guys think about what you've seen. Give me your top picks. If you wanna see what else is coming out with Jordan Retros or other sneakers, watch these videos right here. 